we go, losing self-control. Hello and welcome back. This is Motionology one more time and today we're going to be talking about another node and that is the random node within Expresso. It's very simple. It only generates a random value or random number. And if you are familiar with the random expression in After Effects, you're going to be finding this random operator very very easy to understand and I mean by this far you can notice that there is a lot of similarities a lot of common factors between expressions in After Effects and the Expresso within Cinema 4D. To work with this random operator you do have one input for this random operator and that is the random seed and this random seed you can change it from the attributes manager here and once you change it up or down doesn't matter it's, gonna, it's just going to give you a different result and this is going to be so helpful if you are using more than one random operator at once as an output for this random operator you can output any kind of data type pool, integer, normal, real, or vector. Just for the sake of demonstration, let's use this vector. Let's grab a result node. And let's change the data type from real to vector. And let's connect that to the random operator. Now we do have this random value that has been generated using this random operator. If we play our timeline, we're going to have to go to calculate and animation refresh, click on that. We're going to have these random numbers or random values that has been generated in every single frame. In this random operator, we do have a couple of things that we need to address and talk about. And the first one is the random mode. We do have two options, the free and the time. The time is going to give you a specific value and store it in every frame and once you replay the animation is going to give you the same exact result but the free mode on the other hand is going to give you a different values each time you replay this timeline or replay the animation i hope this makes sense and if it doesn't let's just taste this out so let's go with the time for now and we are in the frame 57 and uh, we do have to remember these first digits uh, minus zero nine three seven and let's play this and when we go to the frame 57 we're gonna have the exact same values minus zero nine three seven now if we change this from time to free we're not gonna have that so we are on the frame uh, 57, we do have this value 0258, let's just remember these first digits and let's play this. Now when we get to the 57, we do have a very completely different value in here. So this is the difference between the free and the time modes within this random operator. Now, the last thing that we need to talk about is the positive only, and we talked about this in a previous video, specifically when we talked about the noise operator. So, uh, if you wanna know about this positive only checkbox, you're gonna have to go back to that video and know what it does. You're gonna have this card right here. Click on that and you will go there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next.